Welcome to the SelfGrowth.com show. My name is David Ricklin, and I'm the founder of SelfGrowth.com. Today, we'll be discussing an important topic, goal setting. To help us understand this topic, I'm excited to interview Jim Egan. Make sure to listen closely. We're going to be sharing a lot of information today. Before we get started, I just want to take a couple of minutes and share some information about Jim Egan. Jim established Goals for All after spending years in the corporate world gathering information about goal setting and strategic planning and finding the very best processes that produce the best goal setting results on a continual basis. He knew this would eventually be extremely useful to anyone wanting to achieve personal goals, career goals, student goals, professional goals, or small business goals. His only purpose was to build a website that he could use to help anyone learn the art of goal setting. And I want to give out the website, and I recommend you jot it down. There's some really good information that can be shared on that. It's www.goalsforall.com. That's www.goalsforall.com. And he's taken these best processes for setting and achieving goals and then put them in his free goal setting guide. He's now passing this goal setting guide to all who wish to achieve major goals in his life. Jim, welcome to our show. Thank you, glad to be here. All right, I wanna jump right in over here. So first question, what inspired you to build a website for goal setting? I just felt that the experience I had in my corporate life uh, was something that would be, could be useful to as many people as possible to achieve their goals in life. Uh, now I'm not talking about something that somebody can put on their to-do list. Some people get goals confused with to-do lists, so, and they call their to-do list their goals list. I'm talking about a major goal in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And I know people struggle with achieving these kind of major goals, and they just kind of keep moving on in life. So I, I think it's important for people to understand the value of setting these major goals and, and achieving them. So let's talk a little bit about this website. What, it is, what is it about your website that makes it better? There's a lot of goal setting websites that makes your goal setting website uh, so valuable. It's the content. It's, uh, it has real life experiences in almost every paragraph. Now, other sites, all the other sites have tons of content. I'm not disputing that at all, but in so many cases, it's merely words that are uh, put on uh, paper and uh, to add more pages to try to get recognized by the search engines to uh, try to get their site to rank as high as possible. And there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. It's just that uh, it, it just doesn't have, uh, it just doesn't have any takeaway value. Right. A very important point. Um, no matter what you're searching for on the internet, if it doesn't have takeaway value, then you're wasting your time. So if you get this program and you follow it the way it's intended to be, you will achieve your goal. I like it. I like the concept. So let's get into a little bit more meat. You, you have a goal setting PDF that you give away and then people can just go to the website and print it out. Uh, and just to remind people, it's goalsforall.com. So why do you give this goal setting PDF free of charge? It's kind of a pay it forward type of thing. Uh, I felt if I can pass on the uh, information and knowledge that I have in my head to as many people as possible so that they could achieve something that in life that's really important to them, that's payment enough for me. All right, I get that. Yeah, that's part of selfgrowth.com and what we do provide value for people. Now, I know that you say that the goal setting process that you put down in this PDF is guaranteed to achieve any goal as long as they follow the process correctly. So that's a pretty big and bold claim. How can you make that claim? I'm guaranteeing it because I know it works. I've used it for years in my corporate life. And during those years, there were many times when we had to tweak the goal setting process um, um, to make it more effective. And we finally got it to a place where we think it's the best goal setting process available. Uh, I don't know how much of this has ever been put on the web. 
I doubt if any part of it has ever been put on the web. But if they um, if they follow everything that's uh, in that PDF, that's how I, I, that's why I'm guaranteeing that they will achieve their goals. But they have to follow the program exactly as it's outlined. All right. Can you step us through some of the big pieces of the of the process that you've laid out? Yeah, the uh, process starts with uh, setting a goal, number one. Um, and this is where I think we differ from all the other websites. They tell you, uh, you know, write it down, put it on a piece of paper, uh, make notes of it, put it on your bathroom mirror, put it in your car, on your office desk. So it's almost like they're trying to get you to achieve a goal through the, like the power of repetition. But that doesn't work. You have to have a total plan. I mean, with all the segments that are contained in the PDF, and there's four key segments in there, and they're adjustable. So when you uh, run into a roadblock, as you uh, alluded to before, um, uh, this is why most people fail in their goal setting process because they don't have any backup, they don't have any plan uh, to refer to or anything to adjust to get around that roadblock. Um, so with this, if they follow, I mean, if they literally follow every step in, in the PDF, I'm guaranteeing the, they'll, they'll achieve their goals. All right. Can you take a minute? I know one of the things you talk about in this PDF you're providing is the difference is strategy versus tactics. Can you take a minute and talk a little bit about how you differentiate strategy versus tactics for achieving a goal? Sure, there's, there's, there's links in, in the entire process. So after you set your goal, you have to start developing your strategic plan. Uh, once you outline your strategic plan, and that can be as many strategies as you care to, uh, to work with. Uh, and but and better be every strategy you think you're going to need to achieve the goal. Then you take every strategy and you start adding your tactics to it. Now the tactic, let's say strategy number one has two or three parts to it. You're going to do this, that, and those, whatever. You have to then support that strategy. Every strategy has to be supported by a tactic, and the tactics. The whole plan works backwards. You have to start achieving your tactics. When you achieve your tactics, you achieve your strategies and thus your goal. Okay, that makes sense. Now, uh, I just want to remind folks, definitely go to the website. The PDF is free. Check it out. See what Jim has added. There's a lot of insight, examples. There's some specific things that will really help you in moving along with, with your specific goal regardless of what area of your life. Uh, Jim, is there anything else you'd like to add to the conversation that we're having right now about goal setting or anything we're talking about? Well, it's just this, uh, you know, uh, they say that about 90% of the goals that people set fail. And they fail because they have no roadmap, no guidelines to support that goal as they, so they're, they're merely trying to achieve the goal by, I don't know, some kind of magnetic action. I don't know how, how they think they're going to do that. But that's what most of the websites tell them to do. But as, I just, as you just, we just went over the process in the goal setting PDF, if you hit roadblocks along the way and you don't have a plan or a, a roadmap, you have nothing to adjust. There's no place you can go. That's why the goal fails. You have to we had to go in and tweak our plan every year to make it more effective. Now the plan is pretty much set in stone. So they'll have to do, if they, if they, if they, if they write the best strategic plan possible and the best tactical plan possible and follow it to the letter of the law, I guarantee they'll, they will achieve their goals and they'll be very impressed. I just want to say one more thing that and when I say a major goal, uh, I'm talking about something big, you know, uh, in your life that you really desire. Uh, this will help you do that. 
uh, we talked about multiple goals before. You can have multiple goals, but you better have one. If you have one strong desire, that's a, that's a stretch, something that you're going to really have to work to accomplish, but it's something you're willing to put the time into because it's so important to you, you have to have this type of a plan. Okay, that makes sense. So I, a couple of things. One, I want to remind people, check this out, download the PDF. It's goals for all, www.goalsforall.com. Uh, and before we finish up, do you have any final words, any last, last suggestion for folks before we, we wrap up today? I just hope that people uh, uh, um, uh, believe in what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, so many people, you know, so many people know, I mean, the, the, when they say 90% of the people that set goals fail, uh, that should be motivation enough that uh, if you have something that's really important in your life, but you don't have a clue how you're going to get there, whether it's additional money or, a, or, a, or a, <clears throat> uh, going to college or where you're going to get the money or, right. uh, you know, you can't just put something down on paper with a couple of notes on it and expect to achieve it. It's going to fail. You better have a supporting cast to go with that goal. That makes sense. I, I think a lot of times people have been convinced through things like the law of attraction that you just set a goal, you think about the goal, and you're going to attract this goal into your life. Exactly. Uh, it, it's clear from what you're saying and from what you're providing on the web that the best way is you need to have a, the strategies in place. You need to have a tactical plan. You need, to, you need to keep to the plan. You need to set deadlines. You need to do all those pieces of the puzzle. And that's really what you're providing, kind of a roadmap to enable people to do that. And just one more thing, David. The, uh, in the goal setting uh, PDF, I have an example plan in there. It's not long, but it, it shows you every, all the four sections. And, you know, I forget what it, it likes. The goal might be earn $90,000 a year, say. Uh, and, it's, and it shows you then how to set the strategies and tactics mm -hmm and uh, the deadlines for completion, which is also important. All right, that makes sense. Uh, a lot of good information. Appreciate you joining us today. Uh, thanks for being here and for, for sharing this information. Thank you for giving me this chance. You're welcome. And I'd like to thank everybody for listening. And I wanna wish everybody great success in all areas of your life. We'll talk to everybody soon.